Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about what style of dress you should wear for your particular body type. Before we get into this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know if there's a particular topic or subject you'd like me to cover and create a video on for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. I wear many different hats in store and have been styling brides for over a decade and counting. For daily content, please be sure to follow at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram. This is the number one question I get asked all the time in my DMs. Everybody loves to give me their body dimensions and ask me what styles I recommend they wear. I wish that this answer was super easy and I could have you just input all your specs into a automated generator that then spits out what you should wear. However, that's just not realistic. There's just no formula that says if you're short with big boobs and a big booty and a tiny waist, you should wear X, Y, Z. Or if you're tall and slender, you should wear X, Y, and Z. There are no rules. Our designers make so many different shapes and silhouettes and hybrids of different things that some, some shapes and silhouettes don't even have a particular name addressed to it, right? Like there isn't a title. It could be a hybrid from a mermaid to a fit and flare. So I actually tell you in a previous video that I made on shapes and silhouettes, which I will link for you below, I tell you in that video to throw all the shapes out the window. Take the names that you hear and throw them away. It comes down to two really simple things. Do you want to show off your body or hide your body? I don't care what your measurements are, what your specs are, if you're top heavy, bottom heavy, or super slender, I, I don't care. None of it matters. It doesn't matter because what matters is that you start trying dresses on and you determine the proportion and the shapes that you feel the most beautiful in. I recently had a bride come in saying that she wanted to wear a fitted dress. Her body could have worn anything and anyone's body can technically wear anything. And there are no rules when it comes to this, especially in fashion. Whatever you want to go goes. It's subjective, right? It's your opinion of what you think. That being said, she wanted a fitted dress and every time we put her in a fitted dress, she kept staring at her belly. And this happens all the time. I could think of actually a handful of brides that this scenario applies to that I've had recently. And so I suggested, let's try on a ball gown. I didn't tell her what I had noticed, but we put on a ball gown and she fell in love with it. But she thought because she was petite and curvy that she wanted to wear a fitted dress to show off her shape. The second that we put her in the ball gown, she automatically felt more confident and beautiful. And that's when I pointed out, you kept staring at your belly in every single fitted dress I put you in. I thought it was flattering on you, but you didn't feel confident and beautiful and you didn't find it flattering on you. You feel more comfortable in a ball gown and more beautiful in a ball gown. And I personally thought for this individual's body, her body looked great in either shape. It's personal preference. To be able to answer this question, you have to start trying dresses on. There is no formula that says if your body type is X, Y, Z, you need to wear option one, two, and three. You can wear whatever the heck you want, whatever makes you feel beautiful. Now, are there going to be dresses that are more flattering on you than others? Absolutely. We could have three fitted dresses, form fitted dresses, but based on where the laces are placed or the seams in the dress, it's going to fit you and be flattering and really contour your body in different ways. So this is why I say you want to determine if you want to show off your body or if you want a ball gown. You could also do both by wearing a fitted dress with an overskirt, but you want to determine which way you want to go. 
Based on that, you find the proper design that contours your shape and highlights the things that you want highlighted on your body. And essentially contouring. Just like you contour your face with makeup, we do the same thing with the designs of wedding dresses on your body. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.